Yellowstone supervolcano, latest information on deformation, geyser activity, earthquakes, and more. This is the latest USGS update given to us July 1st. It's a supervolcano, as we know, one of the 21 plus in the world. And uh, it last uh, had major eruptions 2.1 million, 1.3 million, 630,000 years ago. These were considered super eruptions. The last lava eruption it had was 70,000 years ago, and it had another eight eruptions since then. The alert level is normal, color code green. Recent work and news. For the first time since April 2018, its current cycle of frequent eruptions, Steamboat Geyser did not experience any eruptions during a calendar month. Over the past few months, the time between eruptions has been increasing instead of decreasing, as has been the case during the summers of 2018, 19, and 20. This may indicate that the present period of frequent eruptions is coming to a gradual close, although current motion mon minor eruptions at the geyser suggest that the period of major eruptions is not yet completely over. The total number of eruptions for the year remains at 12. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. June fieldwork by Yellowstone Volcano Observatory scientists included the deployment of 140 temporary seismic stations by the University of Utah in the Norris Geyser Basin. The project built, that's where um, Steamboat Geyser is. Old Faithful is in the uh, uh, lower geyser basin, uh, sorry, the upper geyser basin. A Steamboat is in the Norris Geyser Basin. The project builds on previous experiments in 2018 and 19 covering a broader area that will allow seismologists to see deeper beneath the surface. The work aims to better understand the connection between steamboat geyser and cistern spring, as well as more general patterns of subsurface water flow at Norris Geyser Basin. In addition, two semi-permanent GPS stations were set up near Mount Washburn and Mary Mountain, bringing the number of deployed semi-permanent GPS stations to 17, and we're going to see some of the uh, geodesic GPS uh, stations in the area to see how the deformation is going on there. And we're going to take a look at that later Now, the, in this video. Now, the stations are installed every spring and recovered in the fall, operating during the period of largely snow-free free conditions. And we know even in the middle of May, they have over four, five feet of uh, snow in that area. So, you know, it's, it's still a lot, a lot of coverage by snow. So, uh, and they serve to augment the network of continuous GPS stations which operate year-round. Now, concerning the seismicity, the earthquakes. During June of 2021, the University of Utah seismograph stations responsible for the operation and analysis of Yellowstone Seismic Network located 445 earthquakes in the Yellowstone National Park region, while above average for a month, this is by no means unprecedented. For example, over 1,100 earthquakes were recorded during the month of June 2017. The largest event of the past month was a minor earthquake of magnitude 3.1, located 11 miles northwest of West Yellowstone, Montana, on June 28, 829 uh, a.m. Mountain Time. Now, this event is part of a sequence of earthquakes in the same area that began on June 19. So it was a, a swarm. Now, June seismicity in Yellowstone was marked by four earthquake swarms. One, a swarm of 153 earthquakes, 11 miles northeast of West Yellowstone, Montana, beginning June 19. It includes the largest event of the month on June 28th, as well as six earthquakes in the magnitude 2 range. Two, another swarm of 153 earthquakes. Ten miles north northeast of Old Faithful, Yellowstone National Park began on June 9 
with most of the seismicity occurring June 21st. The largest earthquake of the swarm, magnitude 2.5, occurred June 21st at 11.20 a.m. This swarm includes 12 earthquakes in the magnitude of 2 range. 3. A swarm of 52 earthquakes, about 7 miles north-northeast of West Yellowstone, Montana, began June 29 with the largest event, magnitude 1.6, occurring on June 29th at 2.38 p.m. Now, four, a small swarm of 18 earthquakes, seven miles north of West Yellowstone, Montana, began June 22nd, the largest quake, magnitude 1.4, occurring June 22nd at 4.26 a.m. Earthquake sequences like these are common and account for roughly 50% of the total seismicity in the Yellowstone area. He's talking about swarms. Yellowstone earthquake activity is currently above background levels. Now about the ground deformation, subsidence of Yellowstone caldera, which has been ongoing since 2015, slowed during May and June of 2021, reflecting seasonal groundwater recharge. Every summer, water from snowmelt causes the ground to swell slightly, resulting in a pause in subsidence trends or even a minor amount of uplifts, less than a centimeter fraction of an inch, that is, in the area of Nor Norris Geyser Basin, where we have Steamboat Geyser, no significant uplift or subsidence has been detected by a nearby GPS station since the start of 2020. An example of GPS data can be found at UNAVCO, which has the instruments there. Now, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory provides long-term monitoring of volcanic and earthquake activity in the Yellowstone National Park region. Yellowstone is the site of the largest and most diverse collection of natural thermal features in the world. We know that it has over 60% of the world's geysers and has over 10,000 hydrothermal areas. And it's the first national park of the United States. YVO is one of the five USGS volcano observatories that monitor volcanoes within the United States for science and public safety. And I'll leave a link below for you for this from uh, the Caldera Chronicles. Let's see what's happening with the GPS and gases and everything. And here we are. I'll leave a link below for you. This is the Volcano Observatory July 1st that we just read. Let's go to our monitoring maps to find out what's happening with the earthquakes there. Okay. And it'll just start popping up. And uh, let's come out a little bit. Okay. Okay, we have 501 earthquakes showing in this whole area here. And this is the area that we've had quite a few, uh, let's see if we can get the, okay, here we are. Okay, this is our Seismo Berkeley, and you can see that we've had a number of earthquakes today between northwest of the Yellowstone Lake region towards Hebgen Lake. Okay, this is the Yellowstone Lake area, and that's Hebgen Lake. And you can see these are today's quakes. And uh, this whole area is the caldera of Yellowstone. The lake is on the southeast part of the caldera. And let's go back to our map. Here we are. And this, as you can see, a tremendous amount of activity here. Let's go to our GPS stations. Shall we go to here, Hebgen Lake, P456 and see the deformation was coming. Okay. One of them here. No, I didn't want to close this. Where is it? I want it opened. Okay, there we go. Okay. It hurt us this time. Okay, this is what's showing us east to west. If it's going up, it means it's going east. This is north. If it's going up, it means it's going north. This is going slightly throughout the years of 2000 and 9 to 2021 is slowly going up northeast and it's inflating even though it has seasonal ups and downs because of the melt, the snow melt. So Hepkin Lake, as we can see here, is going northeast. It's going northeast and it's inflating. Uh, let's go to one down here, GPS 361. This is not going northeast, but it is inflating. This is going southwest 
and it's inflating. Well, a little bit inflating southwest. So this is going southwest. This is going northeast. Okay. Let's take one near the lake, Yellowstone Lake. This is going every which way you want. Okay, from 2009, 2005, this one. First it was going west, then it started being steady, then it's going uh, a little bit east here, then west, and then east. And this one here was going south, and then north, radically, rapidly north, and then south, and north, and then south. And it's inflating, deflating, inflating, deflating. Okay, so this is, as you can see, um, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of movement there over the caldera. Let's take this one here. HVWI. Okay, there we go again. That's a lot of movement over the caldera. Let's go back. HVWI. Okay, a lot of movement. This is since 2005. Okay, it's going west, steady, west, east. This, is, this looks like the other one that we had over the lake. And this is going um, south, north, south, north, south. And it's inflating, deflating, inflating, deflating. So you can see that there's a lot of uh, breathing. One of the past geologists of U the uh, uh, Yellowstone Volcano Observatory called it breathing. You know, it's, uh, it inflates and deflates like that as if it's breathing. Uh, let's take this one up here, GPS P720. Okay, that's pretty steady as we can see. And let's take, do we have another one down here? Let's take this one here. Grand Teton National Park. That's pretty steady as well. And let's take this one. Uh, let's take something over closer to, um, do we have anything closer to Idaho? The Idaho volcanic fields. Oh, it's, they're gone. Just a minute. Sorry. Okay. Where are we? There we are. Okay, let's take this Montana. Let's take something around here. Okay. Nothing? Don't want to give it to us? Let's take this one. GPS P350. Again, it's not what's happening. Okay, for some reason they doesn't want to give us. Okay, no problem. Um, I'll leave, you, leave the links for you so that you can see what's happening. Uh, let's take another one down here. TS. There we go. Okay. That's sort of... Um, okay, that's going slightly west, south, and it's a little bit deflating. Okay, so this is what's going on here at the Yellowstone Supervolcano. All of you there and visiting, please be very careful because in one of the past videos we saw that the steam in the upper geyser basin where we have um, Old Faithful, uh, the steam, some geysers were on the walkways, uh, steaming away around the walkways where all the visitors were walking. So all of you there, please be very careful. If you're lucky enough to go visit, that's wonderful. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.